Do we think these are real? There's a fight going on. <laughs> I gotta go through a lot of this. I don't know, but the last sale on StockX is $194. It's some bronze. Got myself a brand new pair of shoes. And you were just... What's going on guys, Dalton here. Me and Styled by Carly here are full-time, well, I guess you could consider you full-time reseller, but she also sells on like Etsy and she has an antique booth. She has all sorts of crazy stuff, so go follow her. But I am a full-time shoe reseller. Today we're going to some uh, Goodwills, maybe some other thrift stores, see if we can buy some shoes to sell online. But first, I've got a few sales going out, so I gotta ship those out. I'm here at the storage unit, and spoiler alert, it's nothing exciting. It's just a bunch of low dollar stuff. I got about six going out. Kind of a slow day, but I'll still show you what's selling for me. All right, so on eBay, I've only got three going out. I'm, I sold these Tevas for 25, these Vans for 20, and these Nike Air Max for $47.20. Buyer paid shipping on all of these. And as you can see, the uh, custom label right here, this one says I0909, that one's F0405, and I1205. Um, those all correspond with a shelf and rack in my storage unit. So I'm going to find them on the shelves if I can remember what I just read off to you. I0909, there's the Teva sandals. I1205, here are the Nike Air Max. I'm going to set these over here. It's typically my shipping rack right here. And I just take these clips off to reuse them. And then the last one was F0405. F0405, beautiful. And then for my Poshmark cells, I print them off with these packing slips attached to them, and they have the SKU written right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the few cells that I have that sold on Poshmark. All right, so the, for the Poshmark cells, I sold these Merrill Mules for $23, these Steph Curry's for 31 and these Merrill boots for 47 So now I gotta just get them boxed up and then we're ready to go ship, or, or thrift. thrift. Are you ready to go thrift? Post office and then thrift. Yes. All right, so we just got done packaging up the orders and we just talked about having to reorder our eBay shipping supplies. If you have an eBay store, you get a quarterly coupon every quarter. That's why it's a quarterly coupon. Not the starter store though. Not the Start starter store. Basic. Starts at basic. Once you have an, a basic eBay store or more, that's the one that's like close to $30 a month, right? Yeah, I think that's what I pay around there. It's like $30 a month and you get a $25 coupon to use on eBay's shipping supply store. Um, the things that I typically buy are these eBay uh, poly mailers. I use these to ship shoes first class. They're a little bit bigger than a padded flat rate envelope. And then the other thing, look at her getting it ready for me, is this 16 by 12 by 8 eBay box. That's great for boots and heavier items. And sometimes I have to ship things UPS. So those are great for UPS since they are not priority branded. So with that being said, we're going to take these to the post office. And now it's shipping time. Ooh. Thrifting time. Ooh. I keep. I keep You're just off thing. today. Yeah. They just like make it difficult for no reason. If you couldn't hear that, I said Carly doesn't know how these locks work. So we're gonna see. That. We're gonna see if she knows how to do this. There it is. Oh, this is the first day in like three weeks that I've done it correct. I don't know if you guys can tell. But Carly's been Stop. working Stop. out. Look at the muscles. Give me a little flex. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Did you see the way he threw that at my face? It was out of love. This thing behind me is really loud, so I don't know if you can hear me. And the wind just, the wind just kicked in. But we just pulled up for our first stop. Um, what do you think you're gonna find today? We're gonna see so who can predict the closest. No, I need some, I needed some specifics. There's a fight going on. Carly wants me to pull attention to it. I think they rear-ended each other. What are you gonna find today? I'm distracted. Over here. So many things. Something specific. I'm gonna, uh, something Pyrex related. Pyrex. I think I'm gonna find a, a good, clean pair of hokas. That's the plan. So during this first stop, for some reason, I decided not to say a single word. So I'm just gonna do a little voice over here. Everything in the men's section at this store, for some reason, was super expensive. This one is kind of going up in prices. Those Adidas Ultra Boosts that you see me put in my cart, they were $20. I just wanted to do some more research on those. The other two shoes that you've seen were $30 and $20 respectively. I did see these 
Brooks in really good condition. They were $15. So went ahead and put those in the cart to uh, look over them later. Seen these like, well, first off, I seen these all birds after I got distracted. They were $50. Put those back. And then these look like, like the dad shoe style is in. And I hadn't quite seen that style before. They were $30. So I went and grabbed them to look over them later. I noticed that these were Allen Edmonds down on the bottom. And I always do well with that brand. So at $15, that's definitely going to be a easy pickup. Over here on the other side of the shelf, uh, I've seen these Asics. They were just a little too, uh, a little too worn down and just kind of a basic model. The next one was these Cole Hans. They were $10 and they were green. Green was half off at all the Goodwills we stopped at today. So those were only five bucks. These Jordans were $15. They looked to be in a little bit rough condition, but I decided to just toss them in the cart to look over them later and finish going through the shoes while I'm over here. These Bionics, they were in really, really good condition. They were $13, which is a bit expensive for Bionics, but unfortunately these didn't have insoles, so I just decided to leave them behind. And then these Pumas, they were just a little bit too dingy. They were half off, but I didn't feel like cleaning them. Seen another pair of really clean Brooks here. I think these were only $13. So that's another one I decided to look over later on. Then I seen another pair of Brooks right next to him. Carly's sitting right next to me. Are you making fun of me for saying seen instead of saw? Okay, so leave a comment down below if oh, you say seen or saw. <laughs> I know the proper way of saying it, but I'm from Kansas, and I think that's just how we talk. Uh, these muck boots I seen down on the bottom. They were a little dirty. Oh, I started out. talking. I guess I didn't have much to say. So they were just a little dirty. They were $13. Uh, the low-top muck boots probably weren't worth picking up. I think I put them in the cart, but ended up putting them back later on in the trip. Then I saw, saw, you hear that? Saw these Adidas running shoes. Um, you can see they're kind of dirty on the toe box. I ended up putting those back later, but I put them in the cart to look over and then see these Adidas Ultra I don't Ultra understand the difference between women's pricing and men's pricing. On clouds, baby! It's nice. It's got a little stain here, but tread on the bottom of these is really good. That stain came out super easy with some shout spray. Let me tell you, if you guys follow me on Instagram, the the story I posted, it was just night and day the difference. You guys better go follow me over on Instagram. It's that Walmart Hoka copy. This is kind of fun voicing over. Maybe we should start doing this. Okay, so these are only five dollars, but they are coming apart. Do y'all think this would be worth re-gluing? It's like it really only needs glue on the toe back here. Future Dalton votes, you should leave them. I'm gonna think about this. These Air Max TNs caught my eye, but uh, they were just kind of coming apart. I think I said that they're dingy. These are just super dingy. There it is. Probably pass. Oof. Chacos. 10 bucks. I seriously can't believe the difference between men's pricing and women's pricing. Like the men's shoes were like $30 minimum. And then all the women's is under 10. Maybe they just get so much more women's donations than men's donations, who knows. Look at that cart filling up, it's crazy. These are crazy. I didn't know that was coming. Pretty sure these came from Ross. I've seen the adult version of that at Ross. These are so cute. Definitely a little dirty though. Probably not gonna grab those. I only really grab kid shoes if they are ready to list. Unless obviously they sell for a lot, but usually they don't. Hmm. Hmm. Do we think these are real? I don't know. I don't know. Probably gonna take a gamble. Get the friends Kyrie's way too beat up. For some reason that model always is beat up every time I find it. I think I do commentary the rest of the video, hmm. so future current commentary piece out later guys. I'm gonna have to look up look those up. Nasty. I gotta go through a lot of this. I don't know if I'm getting all of it, but when I said that I almost, that I was gonna source some Hoka's today, I almost said on clouds. 
and I found some on clouds. They're not super clean. They got a stain right there. The tread's amazing and they're only $10. Dang. What you got there? First, make this make sense. Flip it over. $3.99, $5.99. But tell me why I'm gonna get it anyway. Like, okay, it's so cute in the booth. Also, can't believe you're out here supporting. I'm debating spending 10 on that because like look at it, like open it, it's like really frightening. Oh, it's brand new too. Yeah, like look at that. How much do these retail for? Probably like... 25? Late, late 20s. Late 20s? Late 20s. All right, there you go. I'm gonna go through this so you can uh, take your time. Okay. Okay, so I found these um, Tenko, MK2 Tenko SPs. They are $30 here at Goodwill, but listed on eBay. Let me just make sure I'm recording. Listed on eBay, there's one listed at 101 from Australia, one at 190 from Japan, and one at 150 from Japan, but there's none sold, and I can't really use the Terapeak research tool on mobile, um, but the last sell on StockX is $194. I'm not logged in, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna take a chance on them. They're really clean, don't need any cleaning. Just some minor stuff on the bottom. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna take a risk on these. Also, I'm probably gonna regret this, but I think I'm gonna buy these since they're only $5 and try to re glue the soles. So I'm probably gonna have to leave these Ultra Boost behind. They're $20. They sell around 50 to 60 plus shipping. So not like a huge ROI, but still like a $30 profit, 20 to $30 profit. Um, but there is some separation on the sides right here and I just don't really feel like that's worth fixing for how low the profit margin is so leaving these also same situation on these <laughs> I'm finding a lot of shoes that are coming undone today um, that could probably be fixed I just need to see like what these sell for in the condition that they're in because they are $14 so got to double check these all these are getting put back um, all those I'm keeping unfortunately the um, these little baby Yeezys were fake uh, there's just my first thing that made me think they were fake is because how light they are, but I've honestly never held the 700s in my hand. Um, but when you search the style code in there, nothing pops up. So just assuming that those are gonna be a no-go. All right, so with these eights, they like clearly sell over $100 pretty consistently, but some of them do sell in like the 60, like someone accepted the best offer on that 65, uh, 21. I'm sure that those were really beat up got 70 there and I, I don't know I don't think that this is going to be a very easy glue job it just doesn't look like it's going to line up super easily so I'm probably going to pass on these if they were cheaper I'd probably grab them and try to glue them but putting them back today so these everything down here is the keepers everything up here is what's getting put back last thing that I did notice on these some uh some rub wear on the inside and Carly's just throwing stuff Maybe. all over the place so these are getting put back as well Okay, so if you guys caught last video where I had Carly try on a Minecraft hat. I'm not sticking my foot in that. I think they'd fit you. Can you put these on? I can't take these shoes off very easily. And, yeah. That's boring. <laughs> also, um, I seen him roll a new card out and asked Carly to go check and see if there were shoes in it. And she said no. Then I walked over there and found these uh, you know what? Merrill barefoot shoes. This, um, is, this is why you're the shoe seller. <laughs> they are a little pricey. They're $13, but this should be like a 40, 45 plus shipping on a good day. So I'm going to grab those. Will the style sell these? Well, Even though they're $20? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, never mind. Um, you ready to go to the next door? Yeah. Cool. Charlie bought a picture. It's a little farmhouse of you. Very farmhouse of me and Brad. It's almost turned into a country girl. No. It's $12.99. And it was only $30 at home. At only? Home. At, at home. You want to show me those uh, shirts that you got? My shoes? Shirts. Oh yeah. Hold on. Talk loud because there's something over there making a bunch of noise. Oh, oh bestie. I'm gonna try to get all the stains out. Yeah. Uh, you know, I wondered why this Hold was on. still there. Okay. Okay, so it's a Zadig and Voltaire sweatshirt. Yep. Look at that. And then I found this Mickey sweatshirt that's super cute. It's vintage. Vintage from the 90s. I think it's a 90s tag. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Swag. You do know that vintage is 40 years and older though, right? It's 20 years or older in my book. <laughs> okay, now there's a beeping going on over there. So we're just going to wrap this clip and go to the next store. <laughs> All right, I found 
the pair of hokas. They're only five dollars. I wouldn't consider them super clean, but they're in really good condition and they're a newer model. So I think that I called that one. I beat Carly. Found some more on clouds, but they are pretty torn up in the hills and very dingy. So I'm gonna believe those, unfortunately. There's some metcons. Ten bucks. Platform converse are crazy. These are way too dirty to buy, but I really did not know Olakai made kids' shoes. I mean, I guess they're not too dirty. It just looks like the toes are kind of scuffed up. I'll leave mine. Okay, so I just glanced down at my cart and realized that these Hoka's had a huge tear in the heel. They'll probably still sell. Like, these would still sell 100%. I just don't know that I want to sell them. You guys know I don't like getting things that are too damaged, so these are probably gonna get put back for somebody else. Found some Super Muska. Oh, ones. They don't have laces, and they are $18. I'm going to double-check the comps on them, but I have sold them in the past over $100, but it's been a long time, so that still might be worth picking up at that price. Carly's buying more home decor for $9, but she kind of popped off with some jeans. One, two, three, four, five pairs. So far. Let's go. So I've really just found a whole bunch of bread and butter stuff, bands, Converse, got a couple pair of Allbirds, some towels. Um, I really just need to look these up. These are $19 half off, so I need to see what those go for. I need to double check the Supras since they're 20. And I didn't know that Tempur-Pedic made shoes, so going to check these out and see if these are actually selling. But other than that, it's just a bunch of boring stuff. Other than these youth Jordan 11 highs, those are nice, but um, also got those toddler shoes, those are cute. Um, these Mizuno Wave Prophecies, I don't know if these ones are the super expensive ones. Uh, I gotta do a bend check on those, but just gotta double check everything. I'll let you know if I put anything back or if any of those are worth anything. Carly made me get these shoes. Um, they are shuts. They're both brand new. I think that the same, style is... Same size. She style says the style is on point. Style's on point. They are only $11. Um, this brand moves very slow for me, but I have sold it in the past for decent money. Um, hopefully them being brand new. I don't see me getting less than $40 plus shipping, yeah. right? Is there a retail price on here? No? So, got some shuts. I would have grabbed these if I was ever selling shoes. Yeah, but you're not allowed to sell shoes. I just don't have a place to do it anymore. Mm. Guys, I'm getting so hungry. Like, you remember last video when I said I was getting hangry? It's setting in. I think it's set in in the first stop. Carly keeps saying I'm in a bad mood. Yeah. I'm not in a bad mood. Before you were hungry. Yeah, but now I'm just hungry. Um, where do you want to stop at? I don't know. Why don't you know the answer? I'll be in like 10 minutes. What happens in 10 minutes? I'm going to think about it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments where you think she's going to decide to go. So I wanted hibachi and Carly wasn't quite ready to eat yet. So we compromised and we're at the next Goodwill. We always compromise like that. Yeah, that's how our compromises work. <laughs> I'm sure all the guys can relate, right? Right. Heads up, this one's usually pretty pricey. Shorelines are 10, but they are very, very dingy. Oh, we got some kings up top for 10 bucks. That's not bad. Got some ultra boosts for 10, a little bit of wear. I have to think about that. Some more shorelines, 15, not in that condition. Some fake Rothies, green's half off, so that's probably a Pretty good pickup. Some desert boots, 15. Uh, women's size seven and a half. I don't know that women's Clark's boots do well. Some Nike Golf, 10 bucks. It's actually really nice. I see some clove nursing shoes, 15. It's probably a decent price. Some more towels. 10 bucks. Some dance 
Disco, eight bucks. Sold this model a few times. I'll go ahead and grab those. Some platform converts, ten bucks. There we go. There we go. Interesting. I think these are the Air Max 2021s. So these are relatively new. Maybe 2022s. I could be wrong. I don't know. They're $25 and in terrible condition. These are also $25. Good condition, but I don't think it's worth grabbing at that price. These Skechers are actually pretty sick. 15. I'm gonna look these up. If these are vintage, they might be worth grabbing. But, well, I thought I seen dry rot. Maybe not. Is this another pair of those clove nursing shoes? And these are even cheaper. Like one pair was 15, one pair was 10, and these are eight. So, it's nice. sucks in good condition these are probably really nice shoes some basque boots Gore-Tex $13 wide they're $20 I don't know if you guys just heard that pop <laughs> That was. All right. Yeah, I think they're starting to starting to dry rot. Oh, got some more cloves. These ones are nine. Every single one is a different price. <laughs> what does that say? Lunar Presto. I might look these up. Never, never seen that model before. And last but not least, the kids section. We've had clove nursing shoes in the women's, clove nursing shoes in the men's. <laughs> Do we think they're gonna have some in the kids? Is the real question. These vans are super clean, little chunk coming out right there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably leave it because of that. This one were bronze, 13. What size are they? Four and a half Y, so it'd be a women's six. I think I'm gonna grab these. Oh, these are cute. $5. I'll grab those for five. I'm just a sucker for kids' shoes, guys. $10, the Galaxy Vans never really sell well for me, which is weird. That's some unicorn seahorses. $7.99, they're a little dingy. That suede's not gonna clean up. Look who it is, AYBL. This isn't my favorite print, but like, this what is, is it? for me. Cause like, it's only $4 and I wear these every day. It's cute. Um, I've never heard of that brand, but like, it looks like it does okay on Poshmark. That's good. And then- Some Lulu. Yeah. Not wow, right? not marked up. All right. It's gonna make you mad. Yes, I'm already mad. Cause we didn't go get food. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you can take your time. All right, um, once again, I think I just need to go through all this and I will let you guys know what I keep, what I put back, and then we'll catch up with Carly and hopefully eat after we leave here. All right, real quick, just what I'm putting back. Um, these aren't the freestyle highs, so they're not really worth anything. Um, I'm not paying 14 for the women's desert boots. One of these cloves, if you can see that, has a big tear in the back heel so I'm only leaving one of those behind um, decided not to pick up the Converse just because of the condition and then these Prestos just aren't worth grabbing for $25 also those Skecher sandals um, I don't believe they're vintage they only sell them for like 20 bucks so putting those back these are all the keepers down here all right for the love of God has it been 10 minutes what, what are you thinking I can take you anywhere you want to go. Okay, well, like, let me like look at what's around. What are you in the mood for? No food, but like, we'll see what I can do. <laughs> All right, but I think we're finally eating. She's made a decision. We're gonna go get some gyros. Gyros? Yeah. Or heroes? Heroes, we're gonna go get some heroes. Heroes. Only hero you need? <laughs> we know how to say it. We know a hero. Please don't comment at me.
No, it's G it's gyros. We're gonna go get some gyros. I've been craving one for a hot minute. We've been watching Kitchen Nightmares, and they went to some Greek place, yeah. and of course Gordon Ramsay hated their gyros. Gyros? How did we say? Euros. Gyros. Heroes. Gyros. And but like they just looked good. I've been craving it ever since. Getting some so today. I was such a nice girlfriend, and I looked at the restaurant around, and I found a Greek one because I knew he'd been craving them. Yeah, she's a, she's a nice girlfriend 1% of the time. <laughs> Tables outside are kind of flipped up. There's a sign on the door. I'm going to be so sad if they're closed. Okay, the sign says now hiring. I think we're good. Oh, okay. I think we're solid. They just don't want us sitting outside. We can sit right there. The decoration's kind of a vibe. I've never been here before. I cut Carly off earlier when we were walking in. She said that she's uh, never been inside. Yeah, I've only ever door dashed. Yeah, so what's your experience with this place? Very nice. Very nice? Very nice. You, you like it? I like it. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty yummy. First bite, impressions, 10 out of 10. Better fresh than door dashed. Mm, the same. Mm. Alright, this place is a 10 out of 10. Carly even finished her food. I never finished my food. Yeah, and she just. He usually finishes my food because <laughs> I never finished and I finished She just it. wiped it out. She almost beat me. We also probably just ruined the grand oh, reveal. I'm sorry. No, Wait, no. I can open it again. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> you got some baklava. That looks yummy. Look how flaky it is. Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes like a Krispy Kreme donut, yeah. but yeah. The, like the the uh, the, uh, the texture is better. So, do you like Krispy Kreme donuts? A little Greek? This is an ad. This is an ad. I'm just gonna <laughs> I wish eat it would. It. It's not. Baklava? Alright, we're gonna go to... How many more Goodwills do you think you got in you? 57. Maybe two. Max. <laughs> I was thinking maybe two max. There's one in the area and I don't know where else to go. So, one or two more Goodwills. So let's see what we can uh, finish the day with. You wanna know the actual best part about this place? Mm. Also, I didn't realize that the music was playing, so I don't know if all that's gonna stay in. I don't even know about this clip right here, but the best part? What? They have bendy straws, bestie. Oh, <laughs> you never see that anymore. You just really like, don't. What other restaurant has bendy straws? I don't see a nice bend these days. What was it that you said you were gonna find it in? Pyrex. Pyrex. I said I was gonna find some hokas. I you found hokas. I did, but they, I said nice condition hokas, and those weren't. I feel like with my luck, this place is gonna have them, but they're gonna be way too expensive. <laughs> and they reorganized. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah. I'm gonna go to home set. These must be their expensive ones since they're singles. Okay, these are my size. They're kind of expensive though. If I get these, this will be for me. Should I get these for myself? Honestly, yes. I was about to ask if they were your size. Okay, honestly, they're so comfy. Really? Yeah. How much are they? $50. That's a good deal for you. Yeah, I might, uh, might grab me some new shoes. I already found a pair of jeans. Uh-oh, frame, let's go. $9? Got a girl. So I have any insoles. They're only nine bucks. <sighs> only thing is, I think the size tag on these is on the insoles. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to pass them. I really like the the blush pink. It's really nice. It's Stuart Whiteman. It's Whitesman's are kind of nice. They're a little faded in the back. Bottoms are in good condition. Might get Carly's opinion on those. See some Tory Birch for 25. Rip. Those are those will probably sell for 25 if I list on my eBay. Chichi sandals for five bucks. Oh, these are only 250. Yeah, I will definitely get those for 250. Got some dance goes half off. Only five dollars. Good bend. This is the best find of the day. These are also my size. I haven't found this brand in so long. I'm gonna go see if Carly knows this brand or not. She knows it. Let's just see if she can remember it. Do you know what brand this is? Is that Gia? Yeah. Is that how you say it? Yeah, these are also my size. 
I don't think I want these though. They're a little stained up. But I think your shout spray will take it out. Oh, I think so too. I've never found Levi's wedgie jeans. These are like 70 to 80 on Poshmark. Stop. I'm serious. Pre -owned? And I found two pairs, yeah. Pre owned? Yeah. Why are I could be making that up. Is that on? Yeah. Because I could be making that up. So, Why are like, they so don't expensive? fact check me. It's just like the style. Don't I'm fact actually going to like try one of them on, I think. These are really nice, but the size tag is on the original insole, and someone replaced the insoles. So I don't know what size these are, so I'm gonna have to leave these. Oh, I had to ask you about these. Would you get these Stuart Weissman's? How much are they? They're eight, or they're size eight, and they are seven dollars. I probably would get those for seven dollars. The only flaw is like the heels you can kind of see some use yeah oh then maybe not so you wouldn't get them i don't think i'd get those okay well these are listed so i was off how off <laughs> still i mean 40 dollars is good yeah mm -hmm. so we're buying this price market must have changed everyone yeah she used to know what she was talking about um you know i got with some cole hans this is the least pairs i've gotten to stop all day on some dance goes only five dollars they also are good i got me a personal pair of on clouds see like i kind of knew what i was talking about yeah. all right are you coming to the home stuff or are you sure carly who has 87 coffee <laughs> mugs decided she needed to buy this these is going on my desk so that's okay and this is going in the booth so like it's fine <sighs> i guess <laughs> Carlos decided she keep, she's keeping all of the jeans that you just bought. Okay, I just said I was going to try on two of the pairs out of three. Yep, so we'll see how that I goes. I can't help that they're my size. I'm kind of excited. I got myself a brand new pair of shoes. And you were just talking about me keeping jeans. You're like, I got a new pair of shoes. <laughs> um, are you done? I'm done if you're done. Yeah, I think I'm done. I think we're wrapping it up. We both got to our listing. Yeah, same. I already took pictures. I didn't. Aw, someone should have woke up earlier. No. He gets out of bed at like 7. Yeah, gotta get my work done. I get out of bed at 9.30. <laughs> On a good day. <laughs> anyway, uh, like I just said, I think that's the last store that we're going to go to. I will see you guys when we get home. I'll talk about how many pairs I picked up and how much I paid. So stick around just about a half second and I'll see you there. All right, so as long as I added everything up right and my math is good, um, I picked up 52 pairs of shoes today. Um, I don't just leave them sitting like this. I kind of just dump them in that top bin, but I needed to sort them into uh, bins of like 18 to 22, depending on how many fit in the bin. I try to clean one black bin per day and list one black bin per day. This is my new... Uh, new cleaning slash photo setup. I just moved into the garage at my apartment complex um, to do this, basically so I don't have to carry all these up to the third floor of my apartment every single day. Um, just some of the highlights that I picked up today. You guys already seen everything, but I'll just go through them one more time. These I'm definitely gonna keep for myself. Paid $50 for those. I could, you know, I, I don't know about this exact model. I'm sure that the market has kind of gone down a little bit, but I could probably make $15, $20 on them, but I'm gonna keep those. Uh, these are probably the best find of the day. As long as they sell for what I think they're going to, they probably will take a while to sell. But then again, there's none listed for sale uh, that ship from America, which could be a good deciding factor. Those uh, Veja, Veja, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's another good brand. But anyway, for all of these shoes, I paid, one second, I screenshot it, $487.67. So if you want to average out per pair, that was like, nine dollars and 38 cents per pair for all of these including the shoes that i had to pay up for like those uh whatever those were called i paid 30 dollars for those those are the most expensive ones so now i just gotta sort these into i don't even really sort them i just you know put them into those black bins so that they are already prepped and ready and that way i can kind of not pick and choose what i want to list i just blindly put them in bins and then in the morning I'll pick up a bin and I'll clean that bin. And then the next day that bin will get listed and then a new bin will be cleaned. So that way I kind of reduce the chance of me building up a death pile. I normally have a lot more than this, but we're just coming off of Christmas break. Kind of caught up, need to do some sourcing. Or I'm kind of caught up on listing everything that I had that wasn't listed. So I need to do some more sourcing and get kind of caught up on things, get, get more of a backlog. I don't like to call it a death pile, more of a backlog. I need to build that back up. Today was definitely a solid day. 
nine dollars and thirty something cents for 50 some pairs of shoes that's a good two and a half days of worth of listing so very happy with that if you guys want to see more of these vlog style videos make sure hit the uh the thumbs up if you want some more shoe reselling content make sure the subscribe button and that notification bell if you've already made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed you might as well hit it because you know you're enjoying something so go ahead and do that for me and i will see you guys in the next video